So, Mohammed, how long have uh, you been getting your hair cut here? Uh, around uh, two years now. Wow. With the best. They are the best, I see. Everybody says that. Yeah. So it must it must be true, yeah? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what type of haircut do you usually get? Uh, I do a fade. Fade, yeah. A fade, actually, gotcha. Yeah. Where are you from? I am from Dubai. Oh, you're from Dubai. Yeah. Oh, awesome. <laughs> what made you find this place to get a haircut? Were you looking for a new barber or you wanted a different style? Or what, what made you come here? So the main thing why I come here... Uh, like twice a month mm -hmm. have a cut uh, because you know the service here it is uh, fantastic mm -hmm. and when you compare it with the other barbers the, the quality of the work is uh, amazing here that's why I come always here like uh, I, I'm coming uh, from far away actually I live I don't live here in Jumeirah I live a little bit far but I still come uh, to MK Barber because of the quality of the work My name is Mohamed, aka Mo. I'm from Burundi, East Africa. Um, well, when I started cutting, I was 14. I learned how to cut in South Africa. Um, that's where I learned how to cut. Hey. So tell me, tell me about some of the styles when you were cutting in Africa. Was it just? Like, was it a fade? Was it just to get the, the length of the hair down? Mm -hmm. or tell me a little bit about the style mm -hmm. that... In Africa, as you know, in Africa we have style. We normally do fade, all type of style. Yeah. And how did you get to Dubai? Yeah, yeah to work. To work? Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. So what is your, how is your, your time here? Do you like it? Yes, I do like it, yeah. It's nice. What is your favorite part about Dubai? Everything. <laughs> Just everything. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Um, coming here in a barber shop, you usually have lots of different cultures, right? With different hair texture. Uh, how, how has that been as you've been adjusting here to Dubai? Um, like my hair is like curly, yours is different. With, Some of coming with long hair. Like I say, like, I do all type of style. When I learn how to cut, I usually learn from white people here and then, mm -hmm. then if you can cut black people here and then white people, it's, it's easy. How long have you been cutting hair here? You've been cutting hair since, for 14, since 14, but yeah, how long have you been cutting here? Two years now, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Have you felt like you've grown a lot as a barber, being exposed to like a lot of different yeah. techniques and meeting new barbers from different places? Tell us a little bit about that. Well, I've been working with different people, different barbers, and I've learned much about them. 
How often do you, do you try to get back home to visit? And uh, when you when you go back home, do you do you try to cut hair too when you when you go home? Yeah, I do. Um, once in a, once in one year, I mean once in 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 a year, I have to go back home from holiday. And uh, yeah, I do cut home kids that my nephews, my neighbors that I sometimes I see. I need to bless them with, with a good haircut. I do. <laughs> yes. Do you see the style in East Africa changing when when you're there? Do you see like every time you come home? Do you see like what's like what's what's in style now, haircut wise? What what haircut is everybody getting? Fade. And nice fade. Yeah, fade. Gotcha. In the United States, everyone's getting beards now, so beard is very popular. Everywhere now, now yeah. <laughs> is is that the same here? Is it too hot for beard? Boy, here in Dubai. People they always not, they are not into beard like some of them you see every time just they want to meet up uh, beard it's only like African people were always with the beard as you can see the client next to me is a beard also mm. uh, as you can see my it's not connected but yeah, I'm getting there. To the end zone, and they still can find me. Man, you know where to find me. I'm trying to get me a Grammy so I could dedicate it to my granny. Look, tell me what's the vibes, what's the mood. Yeah, I just hit on my key for the juice. Yeah, ain't no cap and I'ma tell the truth. I've been running for so long, it's hard to lose. Abdul Karim. Gotcha. And you're from? Rwanda. Rwanda. Yes. That's awesome. Which part? That's Central Africa, East Africa? It's, uh, East Africa. East Africa. Yeah. Okay. That's like, uh, where are you from? I don't close? Know, from Burundi. This close my country. Uh, close. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. How long have you been cutting hair for? Um, not, I have experienced 10 years now. 10 years. That's yeah. a very and, uh, long time. Baba shop. Now five years already. You've been cutting hair five years? Yeah, yeah. Wow. So how did you learn how to cut hair? Yeah, I go to school. I learn like one year. Finish school, I get a certificate. Tell me a little bit about your country, uh, Rwanda. Um, tell me about the barber, the, the barber culture out there in Rwanda. Like, what type of haircuts do people yeah, get in Rwanda? Yeah, the Rwanda people, he, he do like a sharp, sharp haircut, mm -hmm. just normal, normal haircut. Oh, so nothing like very stylish? No. Uh, oh, so when you came and you cut hair there for five years too, correct? Yeah, yeah. So what type of haircut were, were people getting in, uh, in Rwanda? Yeah, sometimes he get it fed, uh, normal haircut, like, uh, one stable, one sta stable, mm -hmm. just like this. Gotcha, gotcha. So um, you've been cutting here for five years. That's a very, that's a very long time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what have you learned since you've been here with all of the different cultures about hair? Yeah, I learned so many things from YouTube. I watching American Baba, Latino. Uh, like like this. Yeah. Uh, this hair, I hate my hair. <laughs> it's so hard. It, uh, and every day, 
my hair grows and yes. it changes like the, the line changes yes. the texture changes here so tell me a little bit about um about your style do you have a specific barbering style that you bring different to the table do you uh, have a different style yeah different style i have a uh, fed i have uh, afro afro haircut many style i i know how to do gotcha so what do you like about what do you like about um dubai since you've been here you've been here for a long time uh, now dubai now more uh nine years now in dubai nine years yeah. does it feel like home or or not so much yeah i feel like home is beautiful country oh so expensive though yeah <laughs> but yeah it's beautiful country <laughs> awesome do yeah, you get yeah. to go home a lot and, and visit family or uh no not a lot gotcha yeah. great um tell me about um your first day cutting here were you nervous do you remember the haircut <laughs> tell me a little bit about that uh, the first day i i started work I was I cut like kids, uh, kids. After I finish, I see. It. I like it. I improve my job. Coming nice. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Uh, kids cuts they're they're easy, but when you get to adults, they're very. Uh, they they tell you this is wrong. This is wrong. This is no, wrong. I, just uh, it was this guy is uh, my small brother. Mm. I was more brother, I know how, I don't have any problem. Gotcha. So after your first day, you went to cutting kids' hair, and then you got better and better, or yeah. you got used to yeah. the speed. How, how long do you take to cut uh, a fade? How long? Uh, 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Yeah. We have 12 minute fastest fade competition. Mm. Um, it's okay, it's all about picking your model. Because if you, you know, if you take my hair, I'm not a good hair head for fastest fade. Yeah, well, you know, it depends on which hair. If hair is sometime, you can do even 20 minutes. It depends on which hair you go cut. Yeah. It depends, yeah. For me, if I get customer, I make sure a customer he lives happy. Ah. Yeah, this is my, my profession. I very like it. Yeah, I'm very proud Because <laughs> yeah. they keep coming back. Because you don't know, maybe he come from another, so, uh, uh, before he go another salon. Uh, if you get this chance, you have give good service, next time you have come back. Never let out the let out the let out the yeah. I hear him chat to the noise Move too quick, can't stop for the talking I hear him chat with the boys Man so tough, but man's keep walking yeah. Just too sharp with the prize White girls, let her tell me I'm awesome yeah. Hot like fire on the pan If you wanna touch me, please use caution Beg please get on your knees Came from the jungle, up in the trees I got a few tricks up in the sleeve One wrong move, I'ma let out the Let out the, let out the Big shoes, check out the crease Blow like I'm big foot, step on the beat the man's run till he step out the cleats when the whole place scream, gotta get out the, get out the. Yeah, I, I hear him chat to the noise, move too quick, can't stop for the talking. I hear him chat with the boys, not so tough, but man's keep walking, yeah. Dress too sharp with the prize, white girls better tell me I'm awesome, yeah. Hot like fire on the pan, if you wanna touch me, I'm free, shoes caution. Stop that.
that. Uh, tell me a little bit about the barber culture here in Dubai and uh, what your shop means to your neighborhood. Well, there's, as, well, as you can see, there's a lot of barber shops in Dubai and everybody does a different kind of uh, styles. Some of them are specific into type of haircuts. But what makes us to be different with them, we do all kind of uh, hairstyles that you would imagine. So we have the urban style, we've got the normal white hairstyle. I just put up in the team up that with the team that everything is most possible. So whatever you want, you'll always get it at MK.